Looking to chain mail for hours on end without fatigue? These exercises will help. Hey there, crafty people. Many crafts, such as chainmail, require fine motor control and some degree of strength, or sometimes a lot of strength, like if I'm working with bronze or steel rings. There's a variety of upper body exercises you can do to build strength, but fingers themselves are often overlooked. So today I'm going to show you three finger strengthening exercises. You'll need a few props, but nothing really expensive. So let's get started. As a disclaimer, I am not a doctor and I am not giving medical advice. I am simply telling you what I do. First off, note that the muscles that control the fingers are actually in your forearm. So if you put your fingers here and you move here, you should feel the muscles all on this side and this side moving. This means that when you do some of these exercises, you might feel tenderness down here as opposed to in the fingers themselves. This is a digiflex. It's kind of like a mini old school typewriter. You can push down on all of these at once, or better yet, go finger by finger, which can be a little tricky here for this poor little pinky. The Digiflex system is color coded, with each color giving a different resistance. For example, this is 1.5 pounds of resistance, and the green is five pounds of resistance. As you build strength, you can move to a different color. You can order these online from vendors such as medical supply stores. The Digiflexes aren't too expensive, but if you are looking for an alternative, try a binder clip. It's not gonna work your finger in exactly the same way, but it still does a pretty good job. And of course, it's really great for that pinky finger. Binder clips also come in different resistances, so you can look around and find a harder one, oh, except for this one is too hard. This is a therapeutic putty. Uh, now you do have to leave it stored in the bin because otherwise in a couple of hours you will have a big huge ginormous pancake <laughs> over your table. Uh, you'll usually want to warm it up a little bit especially if it's cold outside but then you can use it differently from the Digiflex to work your fingers laterally. So I'm going in between each finger and squeezing. And of course, remembering to do the thumb and the index finger as well, and then switching and doing it on the other hand. If you don't want to spend money on putty, use a piece of foam. So uh, my cats have unfortunately claimed this one as a cat toy, so it's a little grody looking, but you can use it in exactly the same way. For the final exercise, you will need a hair tie. There is no less expensive substitute because it's a hair tie. So you put it on your fingers and then you just spread them out like this. And you can keep repeating that and you can use hair ties that are smaller and tighter as well to get more resistance. This exercise is really important because in our everyday life and certainly while making chain mail and doing other crafty activities, we do this motion a lot, a lot of squeezing and inward pressure. We rarely move in the other direction and maintaining that muscle balance is really important. I hope you found these exercises helpful. Be sure to check out our other videos on wellness for crafters, including eye yoga and stretching. Rock on!